uh, if it's the Lord, he'll just say, uh, I'm your father, it's the father, it's your father, or whatever. He'll, you'll learn how to recognize it's him, as opposed to demons who will just get mad and curse you out. Uh, question from a listener. Are all the energy drinks with ginseng and vitamins, this liquid gold crap? Um, I'm not sure about ginseng. It's been around a while. Um, but it's also, uh, this white powder gold is made from a plant. And I, I read a definition off a couple weeks ago. Uh, and I think ginseng is a root. I don't think they're made from the same plant, but I can't tell you that for sure. Just ask the Lord, uh, if it's okay to drink something in particular. Uh, because most of these energy drinks, I won't, I have banned my son from drinking them. Um, what is that? Uh, yeah, the stuff with the electrolytes. Powerade. Um, drinks like that, uh, that they drink sports drinks because of, uh, football and getting dehydrated and stuff. Those are okay, I think. Um, it's these energy drinks, these vitamin drinks, these life drinks coming out, uh, that all have that liquid crap in, so you don't want to, you stay away from those. And if you're in doubt, just ask the Lord. Uh, ask Him to, to hit your spirit with a yes or a no, uh, as to whether you should be buying or drinking something in particular. Question from a listener. Who is this new televangelist sensation? It's been all over the news. He says nothing of God, Jesus, or money, but I guess he's quite the new sensation. I don't know. I don't know who you're talking about. <laughs> is it that guy from Mexico? I've heard about him. Uh, they don't come out of the woodwork, folks. They were talking about that crashing satellite from space in the news. It's still going to crash because I haven't heard anything. When, and you were right about the wind blowing this year. It is cold here in Detroit. Now I have to play at the Oregon for Benny Hinn's arrival. Yes, 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 yes. Let's get Detroit ready for Benny Hinn. <laughs> and uh, Australia, you guys out there. New Zealand, I know I got warriors in both those countries. New York City, come on, guys. Uh, and even in London. A uh, couple of dates in London. Uh, most of the places he's going, we've got warriors in. And so you guys have got to stand up out there and get this guy. Uh, I'll help you out with Detroit. Just send me an email or something. Give me your address. <laughs> so that's close to home anyway. <laughs> that's just over and beyond the lake. <laughs> uh, I grew up in Cleveland, uh, and now I'm south, uh, down below Canton. Uh, nobody comes down this way. Nobody comes to Canton. There's nothing down here. All the jobs have long, long been gone. <laughs> so yeah, uh, the satellite that they're talking about that's crashing, uh, it's just another one of these UFO ships. <laughs> I don't believe a thing that NASA says. <laughs> Especially when you read the codes and then you hear the garbage they put out. Um, I don't know when it's going to hit the Earth. Uh, there are comets coming near the Earth that will hit in 2009. I don't know if that's this year or next year. Uh, I've seen them hitting the Earth. And so, uh, I don't know if Wormwood is going to be the first one to hit or not. If it's just going to be kind of in the middle somewhere. Uh, but we are going to get hit, folks. The, the, especially during the, the Great Tribulation. Uh, and at that time, um, most of this country has been through martial law. A lot of the bride, majority of the bride being tested for their faith. Um, the Church of Philadelphia being protected. Uh, a lot of the Lord's wrath is coming after the deaths of his people. Either it's a, a rapture of the 144,000, or the, the deaths of the millions of the church bride that will be killed, donated to martial law and killed. And so a lot of that is his wrath. And so uh, a lot of this destruction to come after, you'll see uh, America and martial law and stuff. We are going to get hit. The earth is going to get hit by comets. Uh, in particular, the satellite they're talking about now, it's more of a carrier. It's bringing somebody in. Uh, I think it's going to hit America uh, if it does. Uh haven't seen anything in the codes. Uh, I've seen something hitting Alabama and gave a warning about that. Uh, and since I warned, sent that warning out, I haven't seen it in the codes since. Uh, so I'm not sure what that's about. I asked because I want to know the Lord and I'm trying so hard to hear him if he is even talking. He's always talking. Um, ask the Lord to teach you how to hear Him. He, because He speaks to your spirit. He doesn't speak to your head. 
He speaks to your spirit. He's a little small voice in your spirit. Ask him to teach you how to hear him. Because uh, what he'll do is he'll start nagging you. And he'll nag, and he'll nag. It's like a nag. I don't know how else to explain it. And then it stops. And then all of a sudden you're like, oh, where'd that nagging go? It stopped. And then all of a sudden you realize, oh, that was the Lord. <laughs> you're like, start that nagging again. <laughs> it's a process to learn how to hear him. And then when that nagging comes back, then you recognize, oh, that's the Lord talking to me. That's the Spirit. That's, that's He's talking to my Spirit. That's the Lord nagging me. Uh, because then when he stops, he gets quiet, and you're just like, why is it so quiet? I'm at peace. It's quiet. You know, where'd that nagging go? <laughs> uh, and so that, just ask him to teach you how to hear him, folks, because it's a process, and he'll, and he'll, he'll teach you. Have you heard of Prophet Yahweh? <laughs> Uh, yeah, I've got him featured at thewatcherfiles.com somewhere. He's old news. He's an NSA pawn. He only calls them during, uh, near US, US uh, or NSA bases. <laughs> so they can accommodate. <laughs> He's an NSA pawn, folks. Uh, I was listening to your broadcast and it went dead. Yeah, I was talking about the gay Republicans in Congress. <laughs> I don't know why I went dead, but I'm back now. Have you heard of, question from a listener, have you heard of transfer factors to boost the immune system to protect us from all the heavy metals we have in our bodies? I wouldn't, I wouldn't be taking anything that they're putting out. If you want to detox from all the heavy metals in your body, eat oatmeal. Oatmeal is the, is the greatest detox. The Lord always puts me in oatmeal. Oatmeal or eggs. You know, if you're getting fried, you feel like a fried chicken from these high-tech weapons they have, Eat eggs. It will revitalize your cells and your body. If you want to detox from all the metals and poisons they're putting in our food, then just start eating oatmeal. Go on a three-day diet of oatmeal because uh, eat oatmeal is a great detox. Uh, stay away from all the stuff that they're putting out um, because they're just getting you with, with their cures are just as dangerous uh, as the, any other product that's out there. Um, that's so just a heads up, uh, because they're all into tweaking the human DNA right now. They're into tweaking our DNA, uh, turning our code out as the Lord himself turned off. And it's an abomination to him. And it's going to bring death to these people. I think it's going to give them life and longevity. It's going to give them death. And it's an abomination. Uh, that's so just stay away from it. That's why I'm spending so much time on it. Uh, until next week, folks. Uh, Going to wrap it up. It's been about an hour. Um, have no idea, like usual, what I'll be speaking of next week. I'll know when I show up, whenever the Lord shows me during the week. Um, put a heads up on uh, the, the lightning falling from the skies and these satellites and anything else NASA wants to bring up. Uh, you're going to start watching a lot of UFOs crashing out of the skies. Uh, testament to the work we've been doing over the years with the Oregon, uh, because we will defeat them, folks. We will, uh, will hamper them. Uh, we're going to bring down thousands of them. Uh, and the war's just starting. The war's just starting. We're just starting to be able to see some of the, 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 the result, the fruit of our efforts. Uh, until next week, everybody. God bless.